What's up with your world? It's your boy Low Key Low Ski, and we are here with the reaction video. Today, we are going to react to a video of a single mother of two who wants the world. She wants a man with a billionaire mindset after she has destroyed her life. So, let's get into it. Make sure that y'all drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, spread the word, share the stream, get some people involved in these conversations. We do live streams on the regular. Let's get active. My name is, well, I'll go by Bobby. My real name is Laquisha. My people call me Q, but I go by Bobby. Okay. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. Where are you calling us from? Chicago. Chicago <laughs> in the building. Yeah. Uh, this is Bobby, 29 in Chicago. What do you do for a living? So I work for at and Currently, I'm on baby bonding leave. <laughs> I just had a baby six months ago. Gotcha, bitch. So um, outside of that, I am a serial entrepreneur. I own my own small business where I create healthy meal preps and natural juices. I also train on the side, do a little acting, modeling, and yes, I get paid for all of these things. Bruh. Oh, you guys are going to ask you, do they pay your bills? Now, the reason that she's saying all of this it's a sign of how difficult she's about to be to deal with. She is going to be very hard to manage. She's going to be very hard to deal with because she makes a level of money that is above probably the average man. So she's going to be looking for a man that's roughly in that same tax bracket as her. And I don't think she's going to be able to find it two kids later by two different niggas. Stupid. Like, I, I don't know why women assume that just because you do all this entrepreneur stuff and all of this, that it's going to make a difference to a man. Yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> So you had a baby six months ago. I did. Why are you not with the dad? <laughs> um. Uh oh. I feel like okay. So I have a six-year-old. I feel like as soon as you start hearing, I feel like. Oh, and a six-month-old, two different um fathers. What? But you know, I always felt like I never allowed myself to receive the love that I give out. Holy shit. So no accountability when it comes to this. She went for the good for nothing niggas. She went for the pookies and the Ray Rays. And now she feel that she wasn't giving back the love that she was giving to people. Gotcha, bitch. To hell with the good guy that's been after you. To hell with the good guy that's been trying to speak to you and take you out on dates and court you the way that men are supposed to be. To hell with him. He's boring. He's not entertaining enough. He doesn't uh, make your insides tingle enough. He doesn't do any of this stuff. So to hell with him. You're going to go after Pookie, have a couple babies by Pookie. Now you want to come back and get the love that, that you put out? <laughs> you already got the love that you put out. That's why you got two babies by Pookie. This explains it all, but let's continue. Um, I've never been in a relationship. Only hold the fuck up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold. She's never been in a relationship. How do you have two children by two different men? You're 29 years old, and you've never been in a relationship. Shit. Let me translate this woman needs for you. She's been fucking a whole lot of random niggas over the course of this, uh, how, however long it's been since she lost her virginity. I'll just count it at 15 just to give her some kind of leadway. So for the last 14 years, basically, she's just been out here fucking. I, I deserve it as well. I deserve the full commitment. I deserve to take the full steps to actually be a wife and, you know, do all So my nigga, you can't make this kind of shit up. So after you you rolled the cock carousel, after after you've been in these streets all of this time that had two babies by two different pookies, now all of a sudden, at 30, you want to turn around and get the love that you deserve? Now you want to turn around and come backwards to find a good man? Now you want to turn around and come back to find the man that you should have had to start off with? But you're also now bringing two children from two other relationships that you can't even count because you've never been in a relation huh the nerve of these women those things so yeah i'm just in a receiving process now so you've been in a receiving process that's how you wound up 29 years old with two kids by two different niggas and never been in a relationship shit. you've been receiving a whole lot of shit so when, when the baby you just had when did you and the dad break up you broke up while you were pregnant once he found that i was pregnant yes what? Holy shit. Wow. You're this great woman. You, you give out all of this kindness, this love, this respect. You do everything that a woman is supposed to do. 
But you sleeping with men that the second that you tell them that you're pregnant, these niggas is ghosts. What? And y'all was never even in a relationship in the first place. Now at 30, you want a man to come along and to accept this behavior, accept these consequences, accept the lifestyle that you bred for yourself. And you want him to come on and take all of the responsibilities of the shit that your two baby fathers should have been doing. Ain't nobody got time for that. What part of that sounds attractive to a man? Because he found you pregnant, but you own up to responsibility because y'all wasn't in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, didn't, I, I was in agreement with him. I didn't want to be in a relationship with him either. We were good friends. I knew him for 10 years. So it started getting intimate. And then, of course, once, you know, the fun came with time. What the fuck was that? There's times when you're just speechless. Wow. Consequences, it was a problem. So Stupid. We parted ways, you know, I went on um, and had my baby. Yeah, and we good. <laughs> I don't care how badly you want to smash, fuck her. There's, there's hundreds of other girls out there that are worth it. This woman is not worth it. This is how you could get your life ruined as a man who plans on making, the niggas that I'm talking to, I plan on them becoming millionaires. The men that I'm talking to, I plan on making three, four, five hundred thousand. The men that I'm talking to plan on doing something with their life. You don't want to climb the ladder of achieving that kind of income, achieving that kind of status, achieving that level of, of manliness to turn around to have to give half of your earnings away to a woman that is 29 years old with two kids by Pookie that claims to have never been in a relationship in her life. Shit. Yeah, because I would feel like, you know, six months is so close. So are you and your child's father completely done? Oh, we're done, done. We haven't been intimate since I told him that I was pregnant. Um, okay. I don't play them back and forth games. I'm very um strategic and methodical with how I move. So like, I don't allow drama like- What the fuck was that? Yeah, just, just, just cut the, sh cut. I'm very strategic and methodical about what I do. Two kids, two different pookies, never been in a relationship with none of them. Didn't plan on marrying anybody because you was never in a relationship. Didn't give a flying fuck about having two parents in the household of these children. Um, 29 years old, shaved your head off, Cisco did silver. Stupid. Um nose ring tattoos belong to the streets your whole life ain't nobody got time for that but i'm very methodical about the way that i live my life huh and this is the kind of woman that would never give a regular man the time of day this is the kind of woman that will ill the plumber this is the kind of woman that a ill he dusty because he a carpenter this is the kind of woman that will not mess with the electrician this is the kind of woman that will not mess with anybody who are in those blue collared fields once they end it they end it like i said i still feel that i deserve to go on with my life because i hustled so hard what? i worked so hard to take care of both of my kids i don't ask anybody for anything i can hold it down by myself Man, as soon as you start hearing shit like that, just assume that she feels that she don't need a man for nothing. So if that's the case, leave her in the streets where she belongs. So now you want something different. Now you want a relationship. No more situationships. Exactly. Bruh. So now that you've been ran through, now that you done gave up the best gift that you could give a man twice, now you're 30, two kids, and now you're ready for a relationship. Now you're ready to settle down. Makes perfect sense. It, it it sounds about right. Okay, so what kind of man are you looking for, Bobby? Um, I want someone who is authentic. Like I'm not really a superficial woman. Like, yes, I love fake lashes, makeup, fake nails, but you want an authentic, real man. You stupid. It this just keeps getting better and better nice things i love looking good but if you can't see past that then you're not for me um if you dangle your money around and what you have that's not for me as well i want someone this whole goddamn show 
she been dangling her money around and talking about how much money she makes and how many different businesses she's involved in and how high up she's made it in the rank. And in the same breath, you don't want a man that does the exact same fucking thing that you do. You love me as if it's going to be the last time that they see me. I want to be able to hustle with you as if we only got a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So, and I want to create experiences. So if you're controlling, you know, manipulative, if you can't set your ego aside, if you can't come to me and be transparent and vulnerable, if we can't be best friends, then I don't have nothing for you or you don't have anything. Now, this brought up a great point. She's describing a girlfriend. She wants a home girl. Somebody she can vibe with and relate to and somebody that's vulnerable and somebody Oh hell no Then you don't want a real man because none of those are characteristics of a real man. I'm not vulnerable. Name one time you looked at a male lion and wanted him to be vulnerable. Name one time you seen a silver back gorilla and you wanted him to be vulnerable. So you want an alpha male, you want a 100% man, but you want him to be vulnerable. You want him to communicate. You want him to be able to vibe with you and sit on the couch and have wine with you and watch us uh, soap operas. Uh, get a fucking girlfriend and leave men alone. You're going to tell me that in the 29 years of your life, you never found a man that didn't. Bruh. You have to answer this question, but I guess I'm going to ask you this question because usually I ask people when they broke up with someone that's a little bit over a year. When's the last time they were intimate, but you just had a baby? Um, so I'm gonna be honest with that question because I see a lot of people dodge it. Um, I was intimate, I would say about two weeks ago. Now, I feel like I owe myself that. Here come the woman you knees. Know? Well, you said what? I said, I feel like I owe myself that. You know, like. <laughs> you know, tell me why you owe yourself. Tell me, that's this is a new one. Tell me why you owe yourself that, Bobby because i feel like i work so hard you know what i'm saying if i do a little oopsie i feel like i deserve it because i'm very intentional with how i move so if you are in my presence it's not rare you know if a guy does really what the fuck was that drop a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel that I'm not even gonna explain that. That that is the end of the fucking video. Loki Lowski. Over and out. Holy shit.